So, in the dim and dips, distant dips of lockdown, I made a four-bottle order to Corny and Barrow from the hovel of my bedroom at my dad's flat. Because I wasn't shipping wine. No. Um, and in that was an Arnie's. And I was like, oh, you know when you're just starting out in wine and you're a little wine baby nerd person. And you like, don't think to great... order wine from the shop where you get staff discount. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, and basically, uh, you're like, oh my god, that's a grape I've never heard of. Arnie's. Um, so I had it and I loved it. So Arnie's is an indigenous white variety to Piedmont, uh, specifically Lange. This is a Lange Arnie's more regionally. But it's focused, uh, there's an appellation called Roero Arnese, which is like the sort of hotbed for quality Arnese. It's a floral, citrusy grape, but then it also has this sort of nutty leasiness to it, naturally. Um, And let me tell you a love story whilst he smells it. Um, Back in the early part of the 20th century, a chappie called Pierre something or other. Tintero? Tintero. Tintero. Went away, off to Piedmont, to find a job and he met a widow and he oh, another one How yeah, yeah. There, are there are lots of widows I was, mind you it was before the war so anyway anyway he 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 met this widow um called rosanna cortesi i think it was and they and and he started working in her vineyards and then he I fell in did. love he fell in love okay it was a simpler time he fell in love and she fell in love and they made their first vintage together at the wonderfully perfectly timed 1914. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's a little wrong there. Anyway, anyway, you know, a century on, and we have this Tintero Lange Arnese 2020. Ben's told you about it, all the stuff about Arnese. Yeah. So let's try the wine. And have one in Edro? It's round and it's sort of like pencil leady. And yeah. A bit green. A bit green. There's sort of fresh cut grass there. A little bit of mango. Do you get mango? Mm. Some mango pith or something? Mango skin or, you mm. know, waft of mango? Mm hmm. Mm. That's just a wonderful See that wine. nuttiness at the end? Yeah. No oak. Brazil nut. Brazil nut. And it's all natural to that boy. I love Arnie so much. Oh, because it's it, so good. It provides the texture and toastiness that I like from oak with zero oak. Mm-hmm. It's all na- au naturel. She was born with it. Um, it's just texture and nuts and whatever. Another, I know I just said this, but and yet another Piedmontese white that just, you know. Knocks it out of the pot. Just does its does its things so well and so unashamedly and but so humbly. Can you imagine just putting that with some pasta, with some garlic and olive oil? Oh my god, totally! It would be so good. It's so just long as well. Simple. That, that it's almost like Brazil nut. It's um, toast crumb. It's it's just got yeah. such a lovely leasy. Uh, yeah. This is yeah. I've always loved Arnese. It's my favorite. It's my favorite white variety from Piedmont. It's also lower alcohol, twelve and a half percent. So um, if booze is something that you're worried about, you know, have a look at have a look at uh, whites from Piedmont because they 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 can have lower alcohol, and this is just delicious. It's a cool mountainous region. I mean, the packaging is a little. Bit, I like it. It's a little bit 1980s modernized. No, um, no, it's not. I don't like all the silver and you know the tree. And if it was gold and that was. I see what it's edging into that. It, yeah. Unlike some people I could talk about, yeah. <laughs> Frederick Engel. Um, it's not that bad. I still, I think, no. I think it's classy enough. But it's the sort of wine you can very easily take to a dinner party. And oh, no people one, no aren't... No one will not like that. No one will not like it, but they also won't know what the hell it is. So you can actually yeah, come with a little bit of knowledge and go, well, I know, because my wine merchant told me. And basically it's me and him waffling, but they don't need to know that. Toodaloo.